Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of August the 15th to the 27th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I invite and welcome you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatarot.info. spelled T-A-R-O dot info. See you soon, Aquarius. Thank you to all the new people requesting private readings from me to my circle and blessings to all my return clients. We start our week on Monday with an Ace of Fire Aquarius. Aces are the beginnings of all things in all suits and the Fire card tells me that this is you uh, setting your creative uh, juices uh, into motion and it can have to do with risk taking, adventure and mainly self development. But there is a new exciting opportunity coming into some of you that they're showing me and it will have to do with your career. They refer to it as a career advancement. It will change your life here and now when it comes. Night of Fire back to back. You have three in a row. This is your second for Tuesday. This is telling me that a sudden event that will need immediate attention when it comes in. Perhaps it is has to do with this exciting uh, new uh, opportunity coming in and when it arrives and you've been offered this on the on the proverbial platter uh, please please accept it and act upon it because time is of the essence don't hesitate and procrastinate this card says you can move on with it and it has to do with career advancement think things through carefully but do act upon it crowning your week seven of fire three in a row my friend uh, you will have to stand up and defend your beliefs. You will have to sell yourself. You will have to uh, defend your decisions you're making and stand your ground. Be strong and confident, my friend, but choose your battles wisely if someone should come in and challenge you. Thursday, Seven of Air. Air cards have to do with the injustice that comes into our lives and dealing with legal issues, perhaps the signing of contracts and partnerships for you. Uh, these plans need to be revised. There's more going on than meets the eye, okay? Uh, because if you don't uh, dot all your T's and cross all your I's and investigate everything, every angle that's going on around you, they will refer to this, uh, uh, these plans as poor timing. Everything is, is in good timing, my friend. Excuse me, I dropped my earth card for you for Friday. Nine of earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives and bringing that currency and abundance into it. it has to do with our closest circle, our families, and or issues to do with the ecosystem and Mother Earth. It shows me though that you are enjoying life's little luxuries and you will be spending time alone contemplating your life and where you're going on your path right now and what has led you to where you are at this moment. Know that those that have their own business and are self-employed, it is a very good time for you in that business. It's, it's showing me success there. Ace of Water for Saturday. Aces again are the beginnings of things and this is the relationship card. It's showing me that some of you are actually falling in love with someone new and others that have been in a long standing relationship, it will be the resurgence of that relationship. Perhaps there have been some bumps along the road and some challenges that you've had to deal with but know that things are improving there for you. It will be like spiritual growth and enhanced intuition for some of you when this happens. This is also showing me that some of you will be moving to a new location and a new home. Air card for the end of the week, Sunday, nine of air. Um, okay, so some of you have been dealing with legal issues and some of you have been dealing with the injustice and making fair and uh, just decisions and choices in your life. Uh, some of you are quite uh, feeling depleted and deflated. You feel as though you're backed up against the wall and you can't defend yourself right now and you're expecting the worst. Please know that it shows me you're also losing sleep over this issue. You must take care of yourself to be physically healthy. You must be emotionally and spiritually healthy as well. At the end of this reading I did incorporate that one oracle card for you Aquarius and it is the Ascended Masters and they gave you this. Clear and shield 
your energy. So this is telling me that you need to protect yourself this week and uh, of any negative uh, and dark energy coming into you. Um, it shows me that this can be toxic to you and it certainly changes your demeanor and how you're able to handle yourself on your platform and in your life on your path. Um, clear away all of that. Get rid of those the thought patterns that are negative to you right now. Clear away people that are toxic to you right now and not bringing you the bliss, the joy, and the peace that you need in your closest circle. Um, do that because you will feel so much better. But know that um, once you do that and you sit and you and you say, okay, well, this has got to go and that's got to go. It's not serving my purpose. It's not, it's not doing what I need it to do, which is keep me positive and the energy light and white in my life. I wish you a great remainder to today, Aquarius, and a wonderful optimistic week, my friend, to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. Happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you. It can only come from you. I wish you a great remainder to today, Aquarius, and a wonderful optimistic week, my friend, to look forward to. See you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.